Is that it? Oh, everyone's got... Everyone's got talky. Uh, let's see. We did not allow many opportunities during our briefing for you to ask questions, Shadowrunner. You may ask them now. It's going to be hard to read. Um, how did the insect spirits get here? When the membrane between planes thins, the insect spirits reach into the mind of the shaman and begin their manipulation, playing on weaknesses and offering ultimate power if the rituals need to bring the spirits here are, power, are performed. Oh, got it. Uh, but once the shaman takes on an insect spirit as a totem, they begin, to inevitable, they begin an inevitable decline into insanity, slowly losing their humanity. Eventually, the shaman completely succumbs. Is that really how you spell succumbs? Hmm. Uh, choosing the contentment and sense of clear purpose that being part of a hive provides, performing your role, serving your queen. That is all. If, Lo if Lofre had seen this before and knew another was coming, why didn't he move faster? Based upon the previous cycle of magic, the first insects are not due to appear for another 700 years. My lord Lofre believed he was well ahead of schedule. Something is different this time. It is concerning. So, sometimes he says is, and sometimes he just says is. Fair enough. Uh, why do you think it's different this time? Perhaps it's due to the population of humans and the metahumans on Earth being so much higher than in the previous ages. As a result, the volume of magic created by sentient beings is correspondingly higher. Or, perhaps it's the destiny of the population coupled with the advanced advances of society and technology that has altered things. Magic has never returned to the world like this one before. The destiny of sentient creatures coupled with the destiny of information coupled with the new concepts coupled with the technolo technological presence of memory coupled with heightened a uh, society or uh, or uh, yeah okay well we'll stop saying coupled uh, technology persistence of memory heightens a society's existential angst thus more people realize how truly horrible existence is simultaneously wow nice um that in itself may be a form of magic lofre is studying the question now what is it like to serve a great dragon the german man's eyes narrow do not misconstrue my relationship with lord lofre i do not serve i hope i'm probably not even reading his name right and it's probably really obnoxious for someone who actually knows how to pronounce his name I could just start calling him the Great Dragon. Um, why do, or where do insect spirits come from? As a level of magic in the sixth world grows, the lack, for lack of a better word, the distance between the various planes of reality decreases. When the membrane between the planes is thin enough, ritual magic may be used to draw beings from one to another. I should go. Yes, good luck. God, there's so much reading. Um, may I provide spells, spirit foci, or fetishes to help you on your, on this crucial quest, on this critical quest? I have a question first. Oh my god. Uh, speak it. Uh, where, jeez, uh, were you spying on me at the stream seamstress's union? His eyes widened at the question. You mistake your importance, stud. No, I was not spying on you until Mr. Telestrian summons. Until Mr. Telestrian summons. You were beneath my notice. I saw only a customer. Now, do you require any magic? Are you really here? Algernon's face takes a dreamy expression. Are any of us? Yes, stud, I am here. And at the Seamstress's Union. And a myriad of other places. On to the work at hand. Do you require my magic? Who are you? This is probably so annoying. I'm a peddler of magic spells, spirits, and foci. Nothing more. Truly? No. Wow. Nice. Um, can I see what you're selling? No, there's actually nothing I want to buy, I don't think. Uh, mm, oh, yep, quick strike. Gotta have it. 
How much money do I have? 16, 531. Could be higher, but whatever. With that mystical armor. Looking good. Pain resistance. Ah, I don't think I need that stuff. Confirm. I actually have to choose one to take out. What don't I ever use? Killing hands. Because why would I need killing hands? I don't actually... Oh, wait. I should get rid of that, actually. Because, you know, magic resistance one. I have magic resistance two. Hooray! Oh, man. My, my guy's nearly empty. Okay, so now what? Don't tell me I get to talk to Telestrian too. Oh god, everyone's got something to say. This is going to be such a long episode. Is there something I can clarify for you? Tell me more about Project Aegis. Telestrian Industries Corporation has been working on Project Aegis for two years without fully understanding its use. The Great Dragon did not trust me with the information. My engineers finally met the Dragon specification three months ago and had just begun the production process when my cousin Lynn hired Shadowrunners to destroy the lab and the factory, leaving us only the sample you stole. Why was Mary, why was Marie taken by the Universal Brotherhood? He pauses before answering. The host for the Queen is chosen very carefully at the, as the interactions between the Queen and the lead shaman are critical. A family connection between the two roles is ideal, as you have discovered my father's indiscretion with Melinda Watts. Oh, gotcha. So they're bastard children. Uh, you know that Jessica Watts, the shaman, and Marie are related by blood. I would appreciate if that information remained in the shadows. How do I use Aegis? Point and shoot. My people have weaponized the... Pro Project Aegis formula by creating shells which, when fired, propel a high-velocity cloud of the material which should be effective at killing exposed insect spirits. There are more effective ways to deliver Aegis, obviously, but time was of the essence and I needed to improvise. I should go. Yes, I really should. Hey, 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 McCluskey. I'm not dead. Oh, man, you're gonna be pissed. So pissed. You're gonna die, asshole. <laughs> Maybe, but I'm gonna live first. Well, we're all gonna die, McCluskey. You'll die screaming. You'll still die screaming. God, why are you such a dick? I didn't do anything to you. Oh, Marie. Let's have a chat. I was listening. It sounds bad. Yep. Thank you for everything. Piece of cake. Could be worse. Could be raining. It is the Northwest. It's probably always raining. She smiles. It's Seattle. <laughs> you look like you have a question. I don't. I sincerely do not have a question. Why were you locked up at the Universal Brotherhood? Father didn't approve of my boyfriend and he tried to scare him off. Something went wrong and Harkeem ended up in a wheelchair. Father covered the whole thing up and lied to me about Harkeem. He told me horrible things. Her jaw clenches. And I believed him. My Aunt Lynn told me the truth about Harkeem and how my father lied. She preyed upon my anger. I was so disgusted with him, it was easy for her to get me to leave and join her new family at the Universal Brotherhood. Fair enough. I guess that's how cults work. Why did Lynn Telestrian and the Universal... What did Lynn Telestrian and the Universal Brotherhood want with you? Aunt Lynn was clearly excited to have me there, almost manic. She talked about the inner circle and how I was going to be in it, at its center. She said I could be their lead queen. The way she spoke, it was as if she'd seen God or something. Her eyes close and she hugs herself tightly. But it's not God she sees. It's bugs. Only bugs. Was it Harkeem who helped you in the Matrix? So was it? So what did Harkeem tell you about us breaking into their father's office? Was it Harkeem that? She smiles in love. Yes, even after my father ruined his life and convinced him to hate 
and convinced me to hate him, he's still been watching over me. My angel in cyberspace, Baron. Yeah, the Baron. That's weird. Um, after we escaped, I told Harkim about the Brotherhood and about the bugs. It was his idea to steal Project Aegis so you could go back into the Universal Brotherhood and exterminate the bugs. But I don't know how he knew about it. The Baron just knows things. So why did Harkim, or what did Harkim tell you about us breaking into your father's office? Nothing. I haven't spoken with him since last night. Why? What happened? It went as planned until your father's people found me and brought me in. Uh, we went in hard and fast. It got bloody. He hasn't contacted you? No, I thought he would by now. Did something happen to him? I'm sure he's okay. He was in the Matrix the whole time. Last I heard from him, he had been made. They were coming for him. Oh, wow. Uh, that's what I thought. Harkim is amazing in the Matrix. I'm sure I'll hear from him soon. I should go. Your boyfriend's dead. FYI. Is this the last person I have to talk to? Because that would be awesome. Apparently. I didn't even check over there. I'm like, apparently. In addition to the Aegis loaded launchers we will provide, I'm authorized to outfit you with anything from weapons to supplies to clothing. Oh, I want to look at clothing. I need cyber... No. I want outfits. What? Nothing new? It's all old stuff. What do I want with this? Whatever. I have 15 grand. Uh, gear? Why do I need gear? Oh, I do need gear. That's right. Dang it. I have a platinum trauma. Oh, I want this. I want that. I want that. I want that. All right. And I probably don't need any drone repair kits. I guess I could take one just because I'm going to take one. Because I'm going to hire a part, a part guy. Confirm. Load up. Looks good to me. Uh, I need some cyber installed. I should really... Never mind. Uh, sure, what do you have? Man. What does he have? In the way of plating. Bone Lancing Kevlar. That's what I really want. 7,500 plus one body plus one strength. Weak. For 5,000, I get plus two. Oh, I see. That's plus two armor. How about arms? Alpha wear. Plus one strength. I can get plus two strength for 5,000. Hmm. So 5,000 plus 7,500. I don't think that leaves me much to buy. Uh... Ah, I could just not. I don't need to buy cyber stuff. Why are you still blue, sir? How much karma do I have? 14 points. Do I need to hire a team? Are you ready to get knee deep in ectoplasm? I have a few questions first. Oh, come on. Of course you do. So who are you? I am he as you are he as you are me and we are all together. Excuse me? Sounds like a lot of dreck. Excuse me? He seems disappointed that you didn't get his joke. You are excused. Whatever. He bows with a flourish. I am Harlequin. The light bearer. Last night of the crying spire. He who manipulates shadow runners and fights duels with assholes. And for the next hour or two, I am at your service. How do we kill insect spirit again? An insect spirit? Really? Ah, the Fun, gory stuff. Step one, damage the insect using conventional weapons and magic until the spirit is released from the host body. Step two, shoot the insect spirit using Project Aegis launcher that Telestrian people created. Telestrian's people created. Step three, keep shooting until either the spirit is destroyed or you are bug food. Fair enough. Rinse, repeat. What's the connection between the bugs and the Universal Brotherhood? Harlequin eyes glitter with at the question. Oh, this one is genius. 
genius. Talk about hiding in plain sight. This cycle, the bug, or this cycle, the bugs didn't use some whacked out shaman in a small rural village as their portal. They're thinking big. They set up shop in every major city, created a major marketing campaign, and then began aggressively recruiting the dropouts, the disaffected, and the deranged, just like the old, just like any good cult. If Aegis fails, if we fail, the world will be absolutely overrun by bugs. It's brilliant. Does Hans Brockus really work for the great dragon? Probably. He winks. No. What? I'm ready to stomp some bugs. His eyes light up. I thought you'd never ask. One Aegis MK or Mark I launcher. I suppose you should know, Telestrian technicians only had time to create a few prototypes of Aegis launchers. I'll be taking care, or I'll be taking one naturally. Another is for you. Treat her well. If you want additional blood splattering, blood splattering firepower, James has agreed to allow one of his personal elite guard to accompany us with the final prototype weapon. And now, let us away. We have a date with Destiny, and she does not like to be kept waiting. Oh, but I could go back. If I would have known I was going to have all this extra money. Wait, I'm confused. What is this guy? He's a ghost. I thought I had an ex... Oh, wait, we get a fifth man? Is that what they're trying to say? Uh, let's see. I need a... Shaman and a and a mage. I don't actually. What are you? He's a mage. Yes, and a good mage. Wait, he's an adept. Yeah, who can heal? Um. There's no tech guys. What is this guy? Skills. Hmm. He is literally a fighter. Um, let's see here. Brute, burned out mage. Why is everybody so cheap? Utility man. Drone control and decking. That's good, but they're all so low. Need a better decker than that, I think. Decking of four. Tech master. This is the one right here. Tech master. And there's no initiate. Winterhawk. That's right. That's my guy. Yes. Good. Good. Looks good to me. Do I have to look at their inventories and make sure they have full inventories? Looking good. Alright. Sounds good to me. Head to the hive beneath the Universal Brotherhood. This is probably two episodes because, uh... There's a lot of reading. The hunt begins. I, uh, will wait for the frame drop. Uh, I guess I can start reading now. You return to the Universal Brotherhood. Your return to the Universal Brotherhood is anything but subtle. The team hits the same back door Coyote found as you storm through, quickly making your way into the restricted area and the room where you last met Jessica, the first encounter, and first encountered the bug. The bugs? The bug. I thought there were two of them in there. Uh, you stand there together, listening to the sounds of chittering coming from somewhere distant. Harlequin stares into the darkness, humming tunelessly while fingering the sword at his hip. Then he turns, lifts his Aegis launcher to his lips, and gives it a kiss. You give the signal, and the hunt begins. Uh, well... 
technically the hunt doesn't begin because we go through a character select. Oh man, he has kind of cool armor. I probably should check that out. And if I would have known I was going to have so much money, I would have bought uh, cyberware. But you have karma available to improve your character's attributes. Open karma screen? No, not just yet. The side door you found last time where you were here was helpful. We avoided all those Universal Brotherhood spa cult yahoos. Telestrian was right. You're a real virtue. Add? Val Wait, you're a real virtue? Really? You're a real value add. Harlequin grins a wide, predatory grin. Both sets of his pearly white teeth offset by the li livid red lipstick around his mouth. Now the fun begins. Wait, I have some questions. Oh, come on. Of course you do. Uh, if you won't tell me who you are, will you at least tell me what you can do? See this sword? It's kind of hard to miss. Yeah, it looks unusual. Can you tell me? It's kind of hard to miss. I can stick people with it. Pretty good, too. I also have one of those Teles... Magical Bug Eradicating... Oh. Telestro Frey Magical Bug eradi Eradicating Launchers like the rest of you. I thought I got one of his... I'm so not happy with this. Uh... Is that not enough? Beyond the tattoos and that adorn my face, I have another a, I have another a recent addition in a place that only those closest to me will ever see. Is it a dragon? Or it is a dragon. Don't tell Hans. Oh, and I'm a powerful mage as well. I forgot that. Great. How do we kill insects? Need a little reminder? Step one. Damage the bug using conventional weapons. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ridiculous. Oh, whoops. Now here's the tricky part. If we don't destroy the spirit fast enough, the spirit will re-enter the host, reanimate, and rejuvenate back to full health. I call it the three R's of buckery. Re-enter, reanimate, rejuvenate. Great. You didn't mention that before. I didn't want to scare you. What can we expect to find down here? How should he know? You know as much as I do on that account. You have actually seen one of those entomical synergetic trans vaticanol trans trans dwellers in the dark er, in darkness I have not however based on your recent re reconnaissance I would expect to find deranged cultists deranged priests and a deranged shaman and a shit ton of giant bugs I'm ready all right, with that, I'll uh, end the recording here. That'll probably be two episodes. That was probably episode 37 and 38. So when we come back, it'll be episode number 39. Thanks for watching.